Good morning and may the 4th be with you. Running with a rank badge isn't as easy as I thought. It is bouncing around quite a bit. I've been a bit lazy lately. Plus 10 kilos, kind of lazy. So I'm making it my goal this week, since I'm working from home this week, to exercise every day. And exercising every day isn't something crazy. I mean, when I was training for the Ironman, I used to exercise for like two, three, four, five, six hours every day. My goal this week and ideally every week onwards is to do something every day. Let's say minimum two kilometers, something like that. Or a 45 minute exercise session at home. And I'm sure some of you might be feeling the same or similar. Is this whole COVID, coronavirus, quarantine, self-isolation, all these sorts of things. It just destroys motivation. I've been finding myself exercising less, eating crap, and just like the Queen song, I want to break free. So of course, another part of that is eating, eating healthy, and also eating less. One way that helps that, that helps make it easier to eat less and eat healthier, is intermittent fasting. So that's where you don't eat for a little bit longer per day. For a few extra hours each day, you just don't eat. So, skip breakfast or dinner. Uh, and of course, conscious eating. So being very conscious about everything that you eat and taking your time and actually being conscious while you're eating it. And the goal of that is to stop snacking. Because there's a lot of unconscious snacking that I do where I don't even realize it, but then I'm already halfway through a small meal. And also to stop yourself being distracted while you're eating things. Because when you're distracted while you're eating, you can easily go past your satiety levels and eat much more than you should. You should only be eating as much as needs to satisfy you. But if you're distracted, like by a movie or whatever, it's easy to eat past that level. So for me, that means no more binge watching YouTube while eating dinner or lunch or breakfast, if I eat breakfast. After all, intermittent fasting. And another big one for me is work. So trying not to eat while I'm working. Actually get away from work and focus on my food. It gives you a chance to get a break as well. I always tend to eat at my desk, which is not good. Ah, I hate that when you're nearly at the end of a 5k run or something and you've got like 100 meters to go until you reach an actual kilometer mark. I always have to reach that kilometer mark and so I have to do this sort of awkward running around the block just sort of back and forth just so I can catch up that extra 100 meters. <laughs> Does anyone else do it? Oh, there we go. Got it, 5k. I've got to be careful about doing too much too soon. Um, I've got a habit of doing that and especially of giving myself too many sort of lofty goals. So, achieving too much too soon. It's easier to start out with smaller goals and take sort of steps and get larger and larger and larger goals, which is like the purpose of 12 week programs, uh, for marathons, that sort of thing. And talking about the marathon, uh, the Blackmoors Marathon is in 19 weeks or something like that. So I've got a little while. I'm probably going to re-attempt uh, my record again of setting the Guinness World Record of the title of the fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform, getting my record back. I failed last year, as you may recall. Uh, but this year, oof, I'm going to give it a good shot. And I've got 19 weeks to give it a good shot, to get myself up to a good level to give it a good shot. Last year I just didn't train nearly enough. Um, Really, to be running a 3.30 marathon, you've got to be training a fair bit. Or at least have yourself at a very decent level of fitness. But if you're running in Kung Fu slippers like I am, you've got to be training in those Kung Fu slippers a lot. Or other minimalist type shoes to strengthen, especially uh, while well, I've got my leg up here. Your calves, your Achilles, uh, and all the muscles associated with your feet. The issue with running in Kung Fu slippers is this. See that? These slippers just get destroyed. 
so quickly. I wonder what that guy ran in, the one that beat my record. I wonder what sort of shoes he ran in. Did he run in these sorts of slippers? Or was it he cheat and run in something that had a bit more padding and runningness to them, making up words today? Well, anyway, only a short one today. Um, as I've said before, May the 4th be with you. It is the 4th of May. It is Star Wars Day. And since I'm working from home today, oh, by the way, it's also my five year work anniversary today. I always remember that because I started on May the 4th. And I am an absolute Star Wars nut. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want more Swim Bike Run and Exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like, subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.